guys on him go. Yeah, that's right. Nah, he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna put him up to leave us. Yeah, a little fat. Man, get on the scale, man. Get on the scale and fight the next day, man. All that talking about what way and all that, trying to rally people in, man. Get out of here. Hey, what tank little fat ass wear when he come up here? I know y'all, I know y'all deal with him. What is little fat ass wear? You know tank? You know tank? tank? Guarantee his little fat ass wear 38. Yeah, yeah, tank. Yeah, we know where you shop at. We know where you shop at. Uh, he, hey, listen, ain't nobody scared of you. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? I know, I know, Tank. I don't know. He spent a lot of money with it. He wears 38, so you told me already. He wears 38. No, he wears, huh? We about the same size, though, huh? Yeah. 38. Yeah, nigga, you know, everybody else might be scared of you, nigga. You know, we ain't scared of you, nigga. You know, you be lying like a mother. Talking about I look old, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm still skinning them off, man. I just don't. I just pass on them. I'm still skinning, but I'm passing now. <laughs> yeah. Still skinning them off, but I'm passing them off. Yeah. Believe that suck ass. Talking about. Yeah, what I look like, I look old, nigga. Yeah, I don't look. I look old enough. I look old enough, but young enough to pass on your mama, nigga. Yeah. You run it through everything. Period. You better not call our name talking about they want to fight. Yeah. Believe that. Nigga. Put me on the stand me over there. Me and the yeah. Me and the guarantee she gonna choose me, nigga. Little fat. Yeah. That me and you stand side by side, nigga. little short fat man. Yeah. Period. Little short fat boy, little short fat boy to wear the purse. You be selling them purses in here at the tank too? Sure. Yeah. Little fat. Who's that? Uh, I don't know. I hope. No, this is me online. No, I thought it was South Pole fat or something. <laughs> yeah. Put my son on you, boy. Keep it up. I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to put him on you, boy. <laughs> little boy. Little fat boy. <laughs> little fat boy. <laughs> I'm going to put him on you. Yeah. Going into his bag of tricks. So I guess Bill is insinuating that Tank is scared of Devin Haney. I mean, ain't Devin Haney the same nigga that went 24 rounds with George Cambosis? 12 rounds with Jojo Diaz? 12 with Jorge Linares? 12 with Uriel, Uriokas Gamboa? Man, we ain't calling that nigga Devin Haney no more. We calling that nigga 12 play. So 12 play and his jealous ass, mop head ass, bush beard daddy. This nigga right here are the type of niggas that's ruining the sport of boxing. Dudes like this, toxic ass daddies like Tiafimo Lopez daddy. Bill Haney is the black version. The only difference is that mushroom ass mop shit he got going on the top of his head and that bushy ass beard. That's the difference. But as far as Devin Haney, any unbiased boxing fan can look at Devin Haney and tell that he is not the best lightweight in the world. He's more like the 15th or 20th best middleweight because that's basically what he is. He shows up to the press conference or the weigh-in 
he looking like a, a Ethiopian. When he get to the fight though, he looked like Earl Spence. And all the while, this bush beard, mop head ass nigga right here is adding fuel to the fire. Just talking shit. Shakur don't want to fight a, a tanker don't want to fight. Nigga, so you mean to tell me that them bums that your son been jabbing to death for 12 rounds got more heart than Tank Davis? They not scared of Devin, but Tank is scared of Devin. See, this is that delusional bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Bill Haney is delusional. You know what I'm saying? I understand that's his son, but this is also your son dancing with these tight ass jeans on and these laser tag shoes. And this is your son right here looking like a goddamn Ethiopian at the weigh-in. But like I said, when the fight starts, that nigga the same size as Earl Spence. But you want us to believe he's the best lightweight in the world. No, that nigga's like the 20th best middleweight. You know what I'm saying? And Bill Haney, as far as the shit you were saying about Tank Davis, mama, or you standing next to Tank and somebody choosing you, nigga, I bet you would not say them words in front of Tank Davis' face. If it was you and Tank Davis by yourself, while you picking through that raggedy ass shit on your head, I bet you my life that, that you would not say that to that man. Little short fat boy will whoop on your motherfucking ass. And I don't know what you're talking about, fat. The nigga 5'5", five five, how much he supposed to weigh? Tank Davis is the real champion at lightweight. I don't care what belts Devin Haney got. Them is like them Bud Crawford undisputed belts. They don't mean shit because you didn't fight nobody to get them. And until you fight somebody legitimate, i.e. Tank, Shakur, or move your middleweight ass up a couple classes, fight Gary Antoine, Regis, Subriel, but no. <laughs> Fake champion. Smash them likes and hit that subscribe. Cooking with Frank.